It is us here. It's us. And today we are going to be showing you the new RV we got. And if you watched our last video, which pretty sure you probably did, you'll know that we got a new RV, new to us. It's used, but it is a 2016 Cedar Creek 36 CKTS. The CK, like I said in the last video, is center kitchen. The TS, I still don't know. We still don't know. But it is a total of 39 feet 10 inches. It's got a pin weight of 20, pin weight is under the pin box, pin weight of like 2,300 pounds, and the uh, GVWR of I think 16,000, but I'm not really sure. Um, so yeah, it's the Hathaway edition, which is like one of the higher end models of this fifth wheel. They have the silverbacks. They have, and of this year, 2016, they had the silverbacks, Hathaway, I think something else. So I think it's the highest model of the year. Um, it's got fiber class caps front and rear, which I'll show you. We're actually supposed to have them detailed today, but the guy's coming back Monday. And, um, which I don't know when this is going to be posted, so he's coming back soon. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so stay tuned for a tour. And, yeah, we're going to start with the inside, and then we'll show you the outside also. Stay tuned. As we bought it um, we are gonna be doing a little bit of renovation but it did come with all the furniture that's in here so this couch when we first got it there was like a couple little tears on it but with the dogs it just got destroyed and I think maybe like moisture probably got into enough probably why it broke so easy but either way we're not keeping this couch so it's gonna be replaced um, it has these two recliners that we actually really like um, they're like very comfortable um, and we kind of like sit in them every day so they're good and then it has this table and it actually comes out. I don't know yet what we're keeping, what we're not, but we're probably keeping the recliner chairs. And then also back here, there's two extra seats. But I mean, it's nice to have, but they're heavy and they're kind of like in the way, so we're probably going to be getting rid of them. And so this TV is really awesome. It's kind of like the same setup that we had in our last one where it goes up and down. So it actually, just if you want, you can just like put it down, put it, you know, back up when you're using it and down when you're not, so it's like out of the way. Um, it has the radio that works for the inside and the outside, which is pretty cool. There's a speaker out there and there's a speaker in here. And then this is our fireplace. Our last one had a fireplace too, so that's definitely super nice to have. And I'll show you the kitchen now. Okay, so I'm really happy about our kitchen because in our last, um, our last RV we had like a fridge that was probably half the size or like a third of Good the size. RV fridge, yeah. Yeah, and so this is like a residential fridge, so it's really nice because we can put everything in it. I know it's really messy, but it's okay. Don't worry. Um, and then our freezer is nice too because it like pulls out in two different sections, so you kind of like put a lot in there. And then this is also super cool. It's a little bit like unorganized in here, so trying to like figure it out. But we have an ice maker in here, which is nice. We have our soda stream, and then we have our Keurig all in here, and it's nice because you can kind of just like close it off and then it's out of the way and we also have a microwave that's like very big and it's a full-size residential microwave yeah and, and then we have our th three burner stove which is like the same as the last one that we had and then our oven's actually a lot bigger it's kind of nice because you can really actually use it to cook stuff whereas the other one like we'd use here and there but not that often and actually, we also have a dishwasher, which is... Something we probably won't use that often. Probably just that we've never, we haven't used it yet. I mean, we haven't been here that long, but we haven't used it. I don't know if we're going to, but maybe. Um, we put our toaster oven in here, which is nice. And then our sink, it has like the double sides. With the covers. <laughs> yeah, it's probably dirty, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some dishes in there. But, um, it's got two... Uh, inserts to make it completely one big island as yeah. you see here and it's just super like there's a lot of space in here like i feel like it's set up very well where we can like everything has a spot and it doesn't feel like there's nowhere to put anything which is nice um we've kind of like I, we put everything in here and we're working on organizing like some stuff's organized some stuff is like crazy most stuff's crazy so we're working on that but grayson's going to show you the bathroom and the bedroom what is up it's the man himself Grayson, 
So we actually, she skipped something cool in the kitchen area downstairs. Oh, area. I know what you're talking about. And it's pretty awesome if you appreciate central vacs and stuff. So it does have a central vac, which is nice because the other one had it. It's got a hose that goes from 7 to 35 feet so we can reach all the way to the back. But it's also got this, I don't know what they call it, but I'm going to call it the Sweepy Swifter. I don't know. You can turn this on. And the whole point of that is when you're sweeping, you can sweep your stuff to this little corner and it goes to the same vacuum bag as the central vac does, which is pretty awesome. You have all your little, you know, buttons and blah, blah, blah here. Slide rooms in, awnings, all that stuff. And it actually has a generator prep, which is down here. Doesn't have a generator in it because we have our own, but that's pretty awesome. Uh, you have your max fans, which are nice. If you guys don't know what those are, it's the fans that are in the ceiling that pull air through here. So when you're not hooked up to power, you can just open the window and pull cool air or get the hot air out with that. So you go up about one, two, three steps. And now we have the bedroom and we have the bathroom. So Ashley is gonna come up here and we're gonna show you the bathroom. I'm gonna take my shoes off for this, but we have a porcelain toilet, which is nice. It's the same as your house. A nice glass porcelain toilet. We have some storage here. Kind of a mess though, figuring it out. That usually stays a mess. We have more storage here, a little more organized. A full sink, um, it's decent size, nice mirror. And we do have a nice shower. It's a big shower, it's got three sliding glass doors. For those of you who don't know, RV showers are not typically like this. This is like typical for like a drivable or you know class a class A typically, or a really fancy uh, fifth wheel. And it's got a little seat in there and all that, so it's nice. Now we're gonna show you the bedroom. So we have the bedroom here. It's actually very spacious compared to our last. There's a lot more walking room. We put the same mattress in here. It's a king. It's a residential king. It's not just a normal king. So this is what your your parents have or you have. Uh, at your house, uh, when I say your parents was growing up, I had a queen. My parents always had a king. Obviously. I had a twin, so. So, <laughs> actually, I had a fool. Then I had a queen eventually, and now we have a residential king. There's actually a bed in a box, so um, it opened up to this after it came out of a box. It's kind of, we might have the clip if we do. We'll insert it if we don't. Sorry. Um, we have a four drawer dresser, and we also have a two TV. It looks kind of funny. Like <laughs> it's still a mess. These are clothes that are getting thrown away, so they kind of give us, you know, spare some mercy, but. Um, this TV is built into the wall. Oh, this is our old TV, so we're actually going to put the old TV up there. This TV isn't so good. But the dressers, the dresser drawers are pretty deep. I mean, it's nice. These are my shorts. Uh, we can go through like how we organize eventually, but we're just going to do a little tour. Right, right now, now, we're not at the organization part. Uh, <laughs> the bed lifts up. There's not much storage under it just because it's the slide mechanism. And shout out to there. Grayson's mom. She made us this duvet cover and she made us the pillows and everything. So we really like it. And I think it's gonna look really awesome when we paint the walls and everything. And we have a full size, kind of full size closet. I mean, I would say this is as big as a couple of apartments. But I mean, when the shoes aren't like this, Ashley can get in there and show you. The shoes are a mess right now, but typically when it's not, I mean, you got a lot of, <laughs> a lot of space, you know, it's, I can stand up in there. I'm 6'2", and I can stand up. I have to crouch a little Get bit. Get in there. Let's see I it. do have to crouch a little bit. <laughs> Actually, I'm not crouching at all. I'm like, my head just rubbing a little bit. But it's, pretty, <laughs> it's pretty cool to think that, you know, in our old RV or most fifth wheels, when it gets about here, my head uh, my head starts hitting. Um, you might notice something different in this RV. There, there's usually like a, you can see the AC through here. But there's not. These are actually the AC in this RV is vented and it has silent AC, so it's a lot more quiet when the ACs are on. We don't have them running now. We just have the fans pulling because I don't want to run. It's nice AC weather outside. Yeah, if you don't have to run an AC, you might as well not. But yeah, so there's different perks of this RV compared to our other ones. And another um, cool thing I'll show you. Uh, this feature, yeah, I forgot to show. You. I love this. So in here. These are like laundry baskets and you literally can just take them out of there and bring them like right to the laundry mat because we don't have a washer dryer. So that works well. It's like super convenient. All your stuff, dirty stuff so stays away. That's the interior. Uh, and we will go over the exterior. <laughs> What's up you guys? We're back out here. See as you see here we have the Cedar Creek. Does this say Hathaway edition? Yeah. Hathaway edition. So the front cap is actually, you can see right here, the guy started working on it. It's cool. It's cool kind of broke. But it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be good as new when he's done. It has a lot of oxidation right here from the sun. Uh, but yeah, fiberglass cap, two LED lights, which work. The trailer system is called the long travel because of how long it is. It's actually better than our other one. In terms of it's older, but it feels better on the back of the truck. Um, the, I think the propane comes from the side. 
We haven't really looked at the outside of this one like we did on the other one, so we're gonna go through it together, I guess. Um, yeah, two, 220 or 230 pound propane tanks, which are nice. They put in a new regulator when that was part of their like, maintenance that they did. Uh, we've also got, don't mind our duct tape, this door doesn't really work, but we have a lot of under storage. Mm. So, I mean, it's huge. It, it goes all the way through. We have our Christmas tree, we have a lot of stuff in there. And this is right here, this little panel with the black circle on it is where the uh, central vac is. So that's how you clean the bag and stuff when you uh, fill it up. This is cool, we have four steps going inside. They're a little bit dirty because we sweep, we clean. But that's pretty awesome, the four steps. We got brand new Goodyear G G614s, uh, 14 fly tires, best in the game. This is actually pretty cool. So it has a sewer hose holder. So we used to use this little bo black box down here, but now it's gonna be cool to be able to stick your sewer hose in there and not have to worry about it. That's like. You know, pretty nice. You got your water heater, and then you have the other side of the storage compartment. And then Ashley's gonna go over the leveling system on this RV. All right, so in here, it has the Lippert um, six point leveling jacks. So basically on this one, it has like the six points. So there's one here, one here, and one in the back. So when you're inside, it just makes it feel very like sturdy. And it's literally the craziest thing. You just put down the front jacks and then you press auto level and it like evens it out to make it feel like perfect. Cause sometimes you'll be on like a little bit of a hill or a little bit like sideways or something. But the way that the jacks come down, they make it so that when you're inside, it's like perfectly level. And we've done it twice now and it's been like really awesome and it's worked well. So we're definitely excited about that. And then it has the four different batteries that run like the lights and the fridge and all that stuff. So even when you're not plugged into a generator or hooked up to electricity, stuff inside still works, almost everything. So these are better because they're cool. it's four six volts, so you can run them lower. They're golf cart batteries, so you can drain them lower in battery. And do you remember what this does? No. This is the inverter. This is how the fridge runs, because usually you can't run 110 appliances on 12 volt, which is what these batteries are basically. So this converts the battery power from six volt or 12 volt to 110 and the bat and the thing runs off of here, the fridge. Yeah. Remember that? Mm-hmm, I just forgot. Oh, uh, and you wanna tell them about this whole slide? Yeah, so actually this unit had a lot of water damage. The person who owned it before us, previously they just lived in a park and they didn't really ever open the slides, close the sides, do any maintenance to it. So there was a lot of water damage, like uh, enough to the, back where they had to redo this whole slide. Um, so this whole slide is actually new, um, which is pretty, I mean, it's pretty awesome for us, but it's funny you can kind of tell because the colors are totally different. And they were gonna paint it and like correct the color to make it the same, but we were kind of like in a rush to just get out and you know, have it. So we're like, oh, whatever, it is what it is. But um, it's pretty great though, not that there was water damage, but the fact that they went through everything and made sure everything was good because there was that water damage and they fixed all of the issues that had happened to it. So it worked out well for us. We got like a new RV. All right, so that is all for the video of the tour of the RV. Um, we'll definitely be posting another video when we get stuff organized and show you like how we organize stuff and how we, you know, make make the space work make well. life work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How we do life in the full time rig, I guess. Yep. Right. That's not right. Yeah, I don't know, sure. <laughs> Thanks for watching another video. Um, we're gonna try to keep some of them short, some of them long, because we know when you get too long, it's kind of like a time commitment. But make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, comment, like. Uh, I guess thumbs up and like would be the same thing. But share our videos, help us yeah. out. Um, we're really just trying to show people that this lifestyle is possible. And um, we will be doing videos on how to get started with this lifestyle and all that soon, so. Yeah, and definitely follow us on Instagram if you haven't already at our full-time adventure. Um, we try to post on there frequently too. Oh, hit so. the bell and hit the bell, yeah. It's my so, new thing. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Peace out guys.